Welcome back, Burgundine Enthusiasts. This is Devil77 Trigger here, and you are watching my leveling tactics video for the red monsters. Now, here it's, um, some of them are pretty simple, and um, some of them are not. I'm going to just go through a basic, uh, uh, basic terms for each type of uh, monster as to what's the best way to level them up. Uh, there's uh, some of the monsters are best in front row, some are best as flankers, and some are best as back row. Um, most of these monsters are front row, but uh, I'll go through it with you. Uh, basically, dragons, to start off, that is definitely a front row monster. Uh, you need it to fight and attack. It can work well as a flanker, um, too, so front row and flanking work well. Uh, as soon as you level it up into a white dragon or a red dragon, um, you could have it, um, you know, become a flanker at that point. Um, it's still going to level up a lot, uh, but it's still a front row and a, and a flanker. And they work really well. As soon as you get uh, gold and red, they're pretty much about the same. So dragons are really good um, right off the bat as uh, front row fighters, and they'll level up very, very well. Um, now, uh, next on the list is the scorpion. The great scorpion or the ground scorpion. Um, not totally sure what it is, it just says G Scorpion for the American version. Uh, now this one I definitely would suggest as a um, flanker. Now if you keep it in the back row the whole time it can level up a little bit but it's very very minimal and it doesn't really work too well so I would definitely recommend using it as a flanker and uh, as soon as it's hurt just a little bit you don't have any healers pull it back and uh, keep it out of the way so that you can uh, you know, level it up all the way into a death needle. And uh, once you have a death needle, it still is pretty much a flanker. It, um, you can use it in a front row if you feel confident, and if you have a lot of healers, it can absorb a lot of damage, and it will poison a whole lot. So uh, you could definitely turn it into a front row fighter, but I would suggest only after you've gotten it to maybe level 20, and then you can have a death needle as a front row fighter. Um, you don't want to keep them in the back row too much. They don't really level up that well, uh, especially if they're not fighting or doing something. So that's what I would suggest for that. Uh, now next into the giant class here. Um, here, let me just uh, pause for a second. Sorry about the pause. But um, basically on with the giants now. Now with the giants, they're definitely front row fighters like uh, the dragons are. Um, I, I think a lot of people might put them on the side as a flanker, but uh, typically it w it, for them to actually level up uh, well, uh, you could keep them in the back row, um, you know, because of their uh, immense miss uh, ratio. Uh, you could keep them in the back row, and they would eventually level up. But uh, if you want them to get the low, you know, to level up, you need to keep them in the front row or as a flanker. Um, you know, to get them to uh, get up to a uh, Titan or a Giga soon. Um, now, once you get up to that point, then um, you can pretty much, uh, I believe you can class up after you change them over to Titan or Gigas. You know, if you have the two special items, and you have to quest for that like crazy uh, to get those items. And it could take a long time, and it might be impossible to get all four, but um, I'm going to show you all basically all four uh, together and so once you get that extra special item you can uh, change them to Loki and Thor and the two items I believe are the uh, Rage Lightning and the um, Seed of uh, oh geez what was that again yeah it's the uh, Seed of Wisdom sorry about that but um, yeah once you get them up to that point uh, they're both gonna have a, a lot better um, attacks. They're going to have extra special um, features to them, whereas the Loki can do Meteor Doom and Thor can do Thor's Hammer, which is a ground attack. Um, they're a lot better at that point. Uh, so um, once you turn them into a Titan or a Gigas, they pretty much can be a primary uh, frontline fighter because they're going to have a lot of power at that point, and even if they miss once in a while, they're still going to get really good damage. And once I go to Loki and Thor, pretty primarily frontline fighter. Um, although Thor 
would definitely be a little bit um, very very good as a flank or two because of the fact that they keep they don't want to cross his area if you're going to do the Thor hammer um, so that's good for that uh, now I threw the I threw a Phoenix in there because he's red and not the rock because it's total different um, color change and the uh, the Phoenix in here is an amazingly exceptional thing it uh, heals up like crazy um, basically you can use this as all three things the front line the uh, the flanker and the back row in the back row he could just be used as a healer you could just have him do his uh, heal voice and uh, heal up the whole entire team uh, so that's really good for that and uh, the last class here is the Afridi and that is Jin Dude leveled up into well the Afridi and uh, for these ones, you basically just want to keep them mostly as flankers because if they're in a front line, they'll get killed off very easily, even at a higher level. Until you have them to a high enough level where their agility is so high, the enemy can't hit them at all. Um, so you want to keep them as a flanker, and um, pretty much that's about it for that. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Double 77 trigger here. And you can click on the links at the end here to visualize how to level up the other types of monsters. Thanks for watching. Bye.